I feel so unattractive on camera today. Why is that? Because I got like this huge pimple. Actually, it's one right there too. I don't know, I just don't feel the most attractive. I um went to work today. Oh, of course my phone is dying cuz it's always dying. Um I mean, my phone is fully charged. <laughs> I went to work today. I only worked from 1 to 5:30. But um it was really slow, so it felt really long. But it actually was long. I only worked four and a half hours today. Um, and I have the next four days off, which I'm excited for. Um, but I'm not going to sit and, like, bitch about work because my husband already did that in his video for the day. But I will say that I have decided I'm not asking for permission to clock out anymore. Like, we don't have to ask permission to clock in on time. So why should I ask you for permission to clock out on time? Here's my thing. What's if thing, for whatever reason you are understaffed or you need extra help and you would like for people to stay on longer, I'm fine with that. If I am to be off work at 5.30, but you need help and you come to me and you say, Hey, Asia, I know you get off at 5.30, but would you mind staying an extra half an hour to help out? I'll likely say yes. Sure, I'll help. Um, I might say no, but my point is you're giving me the option. When I go in the break room and I look on the bulletin and, and it says that today I work from 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. I expect to get off at the time that's listed. Whether I have made plans after or not, that's the time I get off of work. You don't want me clocking in late, so why do you expect me to clock out late? My problem with management is they... They it almost comes off like they don't respect the time that you're not on the clock, like or that you're not supposed to be on the clock. They don't communicate well, and if for whatever reason you need to, they need you to stay longer. They don't say, "Hey, would you mind staying longer?" They just inform you that you are staying longer, and that's not how this works, you know, and like. Um, today it was like 529 and I went ahead and I used the walkie talkie, you know, the walkie talkie is for communicating with people. So I got on the walkie talkie and I was like, Hey, this is Asia. It's time for me to clock out. I just wanted to confirm it with management first. That was just me being courteous. I didn't have to do that. That was just me saying, hey, guys, in case you're not paying attention to the schedule, it's time for me to leave. Just wanted to let you know and confirm that with you because that's just a polite thing to do. Nobody said anything back on the walkie. Maybe it didn't go through. Apparently that walkie was broken. That's not my concern. Why do you have a broken walkie walkie talkie um, at the registers? So I clocked out like it. My job is done here. I get off at 530. So I clocked out. So I went to get my stuff out of my locker in the break room. And on my way out, I, I saw that two assistant managers were outside of the office because apparently like all the managers were cooped up in the office today with the door locked, like on a conference call, which whatever it's none of my business that's management business but they don't like it when you knock on the door they want you to like call in to the office or use the walkie which is like dumb if I'm right there but anyway I um I saw two assistant managers so I was like hey 
did you get my message on the walkie? She's like, oh, no, I didn't hear anything. So I was like, well, she was just informing you that I was clocking out. So I'll see you guys later. And, like, one thing that they do, which they don't always do, but one thing they're supposed to do is bag checks before you leave. So she's like, oh, okay, you know, I just want to do a bag check, and then you're free to go. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I know I'm free to go. Like, thanks for informing me that after you do the bag check, I can leave. But I'm aware that I can leave afterwards. Um, oh, yeah, that, that just bothers me. Like, I just decided today that I'm not asking for permission anymore to, to clock out. Like, one thing they like to do is if, like, for instance, if you're off at, like, okay, I'm off at 5.30, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm the only one on the registers. Mm-hmm. So 5.30 will come and it'll be time for me to clock out. And I would ask someone, hey, you know, going to clock out and I'm off at 5.30. And they say, oh, okay, bear with us. Give us a few minutes so we find somebody to relieve you. And it's like, okay, I understand that because you want somebody up there on registers, but then like 15, 20 minutes will go by and then finally they'll have somebody come and relieve you. And it's like, I feel like that's horribly unprofessional. Like, what if I had an appointment at 6? Well, now I'm late or now I missed it because you weren't organized. As a manager, as an assistant manager, as a floor manager, especially because you're not doing anything else, you should at the very least be paying attention to the schedule enough to see, okay, Asia gets off at 530. So at 525, you should have someone on a register ready to relieve me of my position. I understand it's a new store and I understand that they are just they're getting used to things but these are people who have come from similar positions at different companies and while this company may run differently there are still certain rules that go with any company you know what I mean so I feel like this company needs to get it together I don't mean to sound like I'm just complaining 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 about my job because I like my job I do there it's just management sucks and management needs to get better But other than that, I had a good day.